Hi, my name is David Schurter and I'm author of Rabbit Hole, a Satanic Ritual Abuse Survivor Story. I also have a website, davidschurter.com, that's S-H-U-R, T as in Tom, E-R. Now, my last video I spoke about the fact that I went on John B. Wells, um, who caravaned to midnight, and less than two weeks later, after discussing this whole situation with Jacob Wetterling, they've solved the case. You know, it's uh, 28 years and it only took them two weeks after my video to find the body, find the person, get him convicted. Oh, but wait a minute, he's not going to be convicted because his plea deal means that for admitting that he killed Jacob Wetterling, he's not going to face any charges. And so, um, or at least not murder, you know, all the other ones, all the others have outrun their statute of limitations, so he's not going to be arrested. But I want to do a demonstration today to show how some of, how stupid some of these things that are being said about Jacob Wetterling um, are. So it's now 2.30 in the afternoon. It's very bright, obviously 2.30 in the afternoon is pretty bright. Now Jacob Wetterling was abducted at nine o'clock in the morning, or nine o'clock at night on October 22nd. And so October 22nd, nine o'clock at night, Minnesota, unless the law of physics were suspended at that, that day, it's dark out there. So it's way lighter right now than what it was. And so we have these, they are saying that the guy was masked and he had a hat on. That's what the abductor picks show, but he was masked. And so I want to show and ask the question of if he was masked, how could we have these detailed pictures of Jacob Wetterling's abductor. So I went out and I bought some nylons. You can see they're, they're nylons. I got nude. They're the, the, the lightest color that you can possibly find. I went to four stores, bought the lightest color, just a normal pair of pantyhose. And so I'm gonna put them on my head, just like Jacob Wetterling's abductor supposedly did. And now he also had a hat on because the abductor picks show him with the hat. So, okay. Now, explain to me how we can have these detailed abductor picks if he looks like this. Now, I'll get really close. Now, it's not really fair because it's two o'clock in the afternoon so you can see the daylight. Now, I can barely see out these. So it's nine o'clock at night and this guy has this on his head and he's able to abduct these kids. How did he see? And why do we have these detail pics? It's two o'clock in the afternoon. Can you tell every detail of my face, every line, every nuance, like we see in the abductor pics? So I'll come back over here and sit down. I also want to point out a few facts about this. Yes, he went in front of a judge, and yes, he said he, raped, he abducted and he raped Jacob Wetterling and he handcuffed him and he shot him. But the guy couldn't get publicly known facts about the actual abduction correct. Like the fact that he stuck his hand down each of the boy's pants. And that's public knowledge. Pete, that, that's not something I found out. That's public knowledge never mentioned any of that. Now, we have a felon in prison who was given a plea deal that if he cops to taking Jacob, he's not going to face any charges. Everything is beyond the statute of limitations and he's not being charged with murder. And so we have a felon in prison who is saying that he committed murder, but I guess the everyone thinks it's just against his moral code to lie. And our media would never lie to us. And our government, never. They would never lie to us. And so I would like to know, I'm taking this off because not only can I not see out of this, but it is extremely hot. And so we have these abductor pics. He can't tell the, the story, the correct story about the abduction, and everyone is taking it like this is gospel. This is news and this is gospel. They couldn't possibly lie to us about this. 
The reason why they're lying is because my father did this. And if my father and my family get investigated, it's gonna open up Omaha and all of the Franklin Credit Union stuff that was going on in the 80s with child trafficking and child's abductions and children's murders. And they don't want that. Certainly not in an election year. And so I go on the John B. Well Show, I talk about Jacob Wetterling, and funny enough, I had no plans to even talk about Jacob Wetterling. I didn't do it until John Wells himself asked me why I was doing soul searching. So I talk about this case, and suddenly, less than two weeks later, this 28-year-old case that has never been solved gets solved in two weeks. They have a body that they won't disclose where they found it because they don't want people to go see that area. They're, they're keeping the community safe from, from bystanders. And so they're not gonna let anyone know where they found this body and they got a confession, and but he can't even give the details of the abduction that is known to the public correctly. You know, yeah, he went into all of these details about how it was, you know, but it, if you believe this mess, then you really need to take a good hard look at yourself because this is not real. This is a lie. They're lying to you. And it's all meant to keep everything about my family, everything about Franklin, everything that was going on in Omaha in the 80s, quiet. It's an election year. I mean, look at what Hillary and Donald Trump are running around now. You really think that these two people, who are obviously directly connected to pedophilia since Donald Trump and Bill Clinton were named the most on billionaire convicted pedophile Jeffrey Epstein's plane, they called the Lolita Express, flying to his pedophile island where we know children were raped. They, they flew, what, 27 times? And they're named the most in Jeffrey Epstein's book? Of course they don't want any of this pedophilia stuff to come out. And so now they give you this big thing about Jacob Wetterling and everyone's thinking about, oh, the parents got their child back and blah, 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 blah. The abductor picks have changed. The story keeps changing. I just showed you. He couldn't have had a mask on at, 11, at 9 o'clock at night, even if there were street lights, even if they did have flashlights. There is no way they could have known the details of this man's face, which they obviously did since we have abductor picks. It doesn't make any sense. And so I'm going to just end this video here, but I'm not quitting because the story is so damn dumb that anybody with half a brain can figure this out if you just let yourselves think about it instead of emotionally reacting to parents getting their abducted child back. Take the emotion out of it and look at what's being presented logically and you will realize it makes absolutely no sense. And because it makes absolutely no sense, it's obviously bogus. So. Thank you for listening, and I hope I opened your eyes a little bit. Okay, bye.